This one was already open. Not the one you want? Uh, okay, I want this. What you get? No fucking way. Hey Cam, who do you think got more deals, me or you? You. As of 24 hours ago, I had no plans to go to LA this weekend for ThriftCon. But of course, my bags are not packed for no reason. As you can see, we are ready to go. And if you're wondering why I am bringing some empty luggage to LA, it's because I have stuff to buy at ThriftCon. And I have a flight to catch basically right now. So uh, we gotta hit the road. And we made it with two minutes to spare. Please check your seat for any remaining items that you'd like to discard or please pass them to the flight attendant as we go through the cabin. My fellow short statured thrifting brethren. What up, man? How you doing? Oh shit, pound it. <laughs> that's light as shit. Damn, that's top notch service right there. I'm gonna give you a five star on Uber. What is this vintage event? Yeah, this really is some LA sh What's this shirt that's there that no one will have? Should I wear your shiny one? No one else will have that for sure. I still to this day have never seen that shirt. Literally, we were at another market five hours ago, basically. Oh, there it is. Doom, doom, doom. <laughs> we have to leave so early tomorrow, too. No way that's your alarm. I have six alarms. That thing's way too fucking mellow though. That's like the one that starts and then the next one is Yeah. No. <laughs> this outfit just makes me look buff as I have two of these tank tops. These A C D joints. That's hard. Yeah, that's actually an underrated thing that you could probably be scooping hard on. I don't know, people just sleep on the tank sometimes. I highly undervalue them myself. This is where I slept last night. We got my luggage. This freaking bag is amazing. Oh that's cool. Yeah, this thing's sick. I thrifted this. Nice. What size is this? Size 76. 501s. Damn, that's crazy. You see the picture of the ones I tried on in Tennessee? I think so. I like wrapped them around and belted them. The actual cigarettes that Uma Thurman smoked. Pulp Fiction shoot. And the bed sheets. Those are the cigarettes she smoked in the fucking shoot. You got the toilet paper she wiped oh, her ass with oh, in the shoot? Totally, though, I went. <laughs> you guys want to have the thong she was wearing? <laughs> 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 I just realized when I left, we didn't go hiking. I uh, know, dude, you never hit me up, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bro. What not booth looking right. Of course, we need the ghost. Look at this guy. Yo, you got what not downloaded? I already know you got what not downloaded. My oh, god! god. <laughs> I miss you, dude. I miss you too, man. This is my boy Cam. Yeah. These are the guys I stayed with in uh, Colorado. Yeah. This is also my lover. He yeah. tries to act like we're not. Like it's just roommates, no, but it's so much more than that. He's keeping the sus eyes. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Real LA business. What up, man? <laughs> Beautiful little REI. Nice little 80s joint. Ooh, I kind of like this Lee jacket. Oh, yeah, that's fun. Hard. Okay, I need to work something out with my boy real quick because that is mandatory. That Ben Davis got me hard right now. I am excited. Ooh, a little true vintage fit. That's hard. That's super dope. I have no idea where Simi Valley is. Look, it's like a Simi Valley. Only the strong survive. It's the hood or what? Is uh, it? It's, like... it's not the hood? <laughs> nah, if you made this shirt, my man disrespected your gang. <laughs> if I did these 10, would you do 450? That's exactly what I was perfect, perfect. Works out. First 450 spent right there. Yeah, that shit's so gas. The Ben Davis goes crazy. Supreme reference that one too, huh? Yo, what's good, gangster? Like I got some things already. Drop some of the pieces off and we back at it. Oh, yeah. my man did the offer thing, and I always tell people I could pay a dollar for this. Whatever you want, but it's surprise. It's, it's what who you are. Bro, that's you crazy. Want, this guy already whatever. knows too. What the fuck? Just give me a dab up and that's all I need. That's all I need, bro. Yo. Oh, oh, that's love, bro. Holy so shit. That's I'll keep crazy. an eye on it. Actually, I we'll want to see what goes for Thank you so oh, much, bro. Oh, we need to that's fucking down. crazy. Like, that's crazy. Damn. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> I just got two other things off my yes, guy. Sir. Thank Appreciate you, bro, for so real. Much. This guy's a legend. Thank you so much. What you got for a dollar? Hold it up. Damn, dude. Wow. One buck. One buck? Yeah. How'd you get this for a buck? <laughs> <laughs> so gas. Yeah. You got the coin though? Yeah. All right, we're gonna flip a coin. We talked about these two tees, 98, 88. If I win, it's 88. If he wins, it's 98. Nah, I don't have it. You don't got a coin? I have one, bro. Damn, what happened to your coin? If you can't find a coin, do we do 88? <laughs> what about Siri, what about Siri? We can do Siri, run it. I got heads. All right, I got tails. Hey Siri, flip a coin. Oh, 98, <laughs> there we go, man. Let's it's go. all Appreciate love, you, yeah, man. yeah, thank you. Oh my God, just gave me this? Come on now. 
Damn, I appreciate it, man. I've been watching the page for some years, man. That's so. love. Thank you so much, man. I definitely appreciate that. There we go. Thank you. Yo, look, man. Like I said, I'm taller in person. I just want y'all to know, man. I'm not <laughs> short, man. Look. <laughs> I've had that tee before, but I like this one's boxy. The one I have is long as fuck. It's like 50 on it. And what about this one? A bill. That's sick. Like this came out the closet. You're like, I like getting brain. <laughs> you knew exactly what I was thinking when I got this. If I bought those two, all four Gratefuls and the Mega Death, would you do six? You said all four Gratefuls and these two for six? Six forty? You still gonna pay me for the, the happy tree? Yeah, we'll do that. Six forty. Right, I really just needed to buy this because I need to do a whatnot set. Oh wait, wait. So on this one. Funny, this is the cheapest one. And it's also my favorite one because uh, I used to actually watch Happy Tree Friends. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you, man. Once again. I just ran my set with Faded. Then we got my guy right here who's gonna do it off the bat. He said he's gonna off do it. Back. He promised. Six K right now. <laughs> As I was doing my live, I see someone get a grill. What tea did they pick? They took the Keith Herring, National Coming Out Day oh, tea. Dude. Am I allowed to try? Yeah, you're allowed to try. I'm allowed to try. This one was already open. Not the one you want? Uh, uh, yes, yes. Maybe it was a sign from God. I don't believe in God. That's God talking to you directly. We got so many options. Hey, you just want a grill? No, I want, I want a, a rack. Piece. Oh, okay, okay. I want this. What you get? No fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, those pants fit you hella well. I oh, like those. They stack kind of nice. Yeah, bro. they kind of got a nice just stack a, to them. A step away from Jinko. Damn, you sew all this by hand? All this by hand, bro. That's crazy. Yo, scav underscore denim. That's hard. Oh, you came up? You want to play a game of who came up harder? I came up harder. Who do you think came up in terms of value? Me, still, maybe. Okay, let me see what you got. What'd you pay? 400? Nice. Pass and proof. Here. Damn, that's a beauty. That's a beauty. Let me see what you got. Pull it off. Oh, what did you look pay? at the back? What do you think I paid? Three. Three hundred? Less. Two hundred? Less. One fifty? Less. You got blessed. You got blessed. Nobody in their right mind sold this. Less? Price. How much? hundred? Oh yeah, you got blessed. It wasn't just blessed. I won it at one. Oh, you won this? <laughs> yeah. What do you want for it? Uh, I want to keep it. <laughs> Brother, yeah. Yeah. Well, we were just come talking up. about this. Let's show it to Kyle. Since the Yo, Kim, how come you didn't get it? 130 is good. Size large for 130 bucks. I'm not mad at it. You know? I lost a coin flip earlier. Gambling yet again. Probably not the best thing to do, but I did win a $500 t shirt, so might as well. Oh, heads or tails? Uh, tails. Flip a coin. Heads. Damn. You win. Congrats. Congrats. Yo, my guy. You bring my tees? No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't even know you were going to be. Yeah, I know, I know. Some man pulled up with some of the craziest Stussy shit. Rocha vintage. Wait, how'd you get the Edgar back? Wait, is this a wig? Is this fake? That's crazy. Gallery department? Damn, my man got on whatnot. Now he's rich. He said, fuck vintage. I only wear designer. Damn. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> I figured since you assaulted me earlier, I had to come back and assault you, you know? Dude, keep thank doing it. You're so making the world a better thank place, bro. You. Honestly, man. I don't mean a fanboy shit, bro. No, thank you. I got me. I want to take a picture. <laughs> No more what not lives for there might today. Be one more. On my stack laid out. Just filmed a little reel. Now we gotta fold all this shit back up. Needless to say, I did good. Hey Cam, who do you think got more deals, me or you? You. Yeah. You were a <laughs> slut dog. <laughs> Everyone's breaking stuff down. Lovely time. Thank you, LA. I appreciate their time. Once. Much love. <laughs> my man went to go flip me off and then dab me up. Fuck you. <laughs> I think I got everything. Yeah. The big <laughs>
big shoe on the conveyor belt. <laughs> Yo, do I need to take my shoes off if I have TSA pre-check? Bye, my brethren. Goodbye. I'm so tired. I'm gonna go back to bed. Else, shout out my guy Cam Gilly for waking up at three in the morning to take me to the airport. My love is a track I forgot about your cup, but I got you a gift. Oh, you got the crossbow shoes. Nice. Shout out Puma. Puma. And then I think this shirt will fit. If not, I have another one that you can try that might have bigger measurements. Ooh, Ooh nice. I have the stick shirt and the shoes, as you can give see. Give so. How are you? Okay, yeah, I won't give you a hug. Yeah. No, yeah, I don't need a hug. No, 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 it's cool. It's cool. Nope. Oh, yeah, these are crazy. Oh, huh? We finna match. Now I gotta be like, don't touch my shoes. Thank you. Thank you, Puma. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Puma. Yeah, shout out Puma, for real. These things are crazy. Fit perfect, good. My toe doesn't crunch in the end or anything like that. You gotta be flexed up. Ooh, I like them. This is an Air Hoodie, which is Cam's old store. Oh, nice. It was given to me by a homie Oops. in Florida. This is an Indian Larry. I thought oh, that was kinda cool. Oh, that's you know, cool. the cho old choppers. Nice. You may be able to tell we are currently recording from the cellular device. I actually really like the quality of my iPhone. Maybe I should use this thing more often. I talked about this when I was in Virginia. But for some reason, I just go to what I know and I always use my camera. That being said, we were caught lacking today. I'm not strapped up. I do not have the camera on body, so we are required to use the mobile cellular device because we are on a last minute little uh, route change. Just accomplishing some things because I did not actually plan on leaving to ThriftCon this weekend. I got notified about the Tacoma Sunday Vintage Market, which I completely forgot about. Oh! What's good? What'd you have on this one? 50. 50? What'd you have on the skinny puppy? 100. If I buy like multiple things, and you'll uh, work out all your things. I just found one of these at the bins in Salt Lake. Damn, that is cool. What'd you have on this? So I've got each 175, or I do the pair for 110. So I got like 40 out of that. So 205, and then uh, 230, call it two. Two, what would you do without, uh, without this one? Without just one. those four? So 160, I guess. Would you do 140? Yeah, you got it. Perfect, perfect. Would you use for 40? So 180? Uh, these usually go for like 150. I'm just giving the conditions. I do 50. 50, so 190? Yeah. I could yeah, let's do it. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. All right, guys. We are back home after our quick little rendezvous to Los Angeles. I dropped some packages off at my mom's. I wanna start recording more stuff like that because I do stuff like that and usually I don't even record it. It's so much harder to record with my camera and after stopping by the Sunday market once I got back in Washington, I'm just really starting to lean more towards doing content on my phone but still doing some of the edits or like more cinematic shots on my camera. It also makes interactions a lot easier to film. Sometimes I just don't wanna point a big camera in someone's face. I'll talk more about that later on but anyways, let's get to some of the pieces that we picked up. These are some of the pieces that will be for sale on Whatnot this Sunday. Most of them will be this Sunday. Some may be in some upcoming shows. So make sure you follow me on there, Thriftrow, T-H-R-I-F-T-R-O-W. I will leave a link to my Whatnot in the description down below. And if you use that link to sign up, because for whatever god awful reason you have not already signed up with Whatnot, you will get $15 off your first purchase. So if there's anything that you see here, I don't know what they're going to sell for because I start everything at a dollar auction. But whatever it does go for, you can get $15 off if you use that link in the description down below. Shout out to Whatnot for flying me out to ThriftCon. I had an amazing time meeting some of the people People that watch the videos and just seeing how it impacts different people blows my mind man like that stuff never gets old and to every single person currently watching I love you and I appreciate you more than you know but yeah we got a Lithuania I got this for 130 bucks definitely a good price because that's like almost like regular Grateful Dead price and this is like one of the Grateful Dead tees this I don't believe is actually Grateful Dead it's got like this peace sign made of bones with roses surrounding it, it kind of looks like it would be a Grateful Dead graphic we have this American Thunder, as you can see, there's no thunder. Probably one of my favorite graphics. Uh, I would like to fade this out and actually possibly keep this, especially because it's a little bit more of a crop fit, which is normal for these American Thunder tees. We got a Harley. This right here is kind of sick. It's like a airbrush pink Floyd tee. Tees like this are kind of cool, especially when the airbrush is actually good because it's like a one of one. You will literally never see 
someone with this tee. Mission Impossible indeed. Then we have the blunt skateboards tee. You got some aliens. Smoke Naganja. You know that love graphic? Kind of reminds me of that, except this is love sees no color, racism hurts everybody. And then you have this one, which says support the death penalty, fry them. All right, that's <laughs> the so be lizard or riding what looks to be a mountain bike based off the shocks. And then of course, the Jimi Hendrix with the back signature script on the shoulder blades. I got some Harley, some NASCAR. These two are pretty sick. This is Interscope Fragment. This will be a dollar auction on whatnot. Interscope Fragment on the back. And then you have the off-road vehicle. It says Hunter's Limousine. <laughs> and onto my favorite part, of course, the personals. First of all, I will go over the personals from ThriftCon Mossimo hoodie. This will stay in the collection for a little bit. Nice little fade. Beautiful embroidery on the kangaroo pocket. The random center Mossimo logo on the back. I just love like random logo placements. I just thought that was kind of cool. Made it a little bit unique and I do like the graphic. It fits. So yeah, this will stay in the collection for a little and then probably eventually later on down the line gets sold. This is one <laughs> I'm kind of on the fence about, but it is so sick. 1996, Lucky Shrooms. I've never done shrooms, so if I do keep this, I'm an absolute poser, but you guys know I like those more obscure teas. You have the homie from the Lucky Charms box, do not know his name, just popping a nice little mushroom into his oral region, his oral dental Damn. Then on the front, it says Lucky Shrooms right on the left chesticle. Speaking of kind of obscure or different tees, we have the Happy Tree Friends wraparound print. First of all, you guys know I love wraparound prints. Everyone needs a little reach around in their life. And uh, yeah, this is a cool Happy Tree Friends tee, which if you do not know what Happy Tree Friends is, I don't know, YouTube it. Then we have the Keith Herring S. Let's piece it together. I have had this tee before. However, I sold it because it was too long and this one does fit. So this will be in the collection for a little bit. I will get some wear out of this piece and then possibly eventually sell it. I've never been able to find information on the artist Karen M. Perez, but she does obviously make this Keith Herring-esque style graphic to have these Keith Herring looking figures in each corner just twerking. Then you have the Raphael Senzio, Sen Senzi I'm just not gonna say it correctly. I have actually seen some of his art in person. I saw some of it at the Vatican when me and my boy Paul Cantu took our little thrift honeymoon through Italy. I saw one of his pieces at the Louvre, what, like seven or eight years ago. Super sick, had to cop this on the Haynes Beefy, single stitch of course. Now two of the three pieces that I'm about to show you guys will probably stay in the personal for the foreseeable future, if not indefinitely. One of those will be the Ben Davis shirt. I love Ben Davis, you guys know that. I'm from Washington State, and Washington gets a lot of their influence from Northern California, where Ben Davis is extremely popular. I did post about an insane Ben Davis shirt that I got when I was in California from the same homie, Garment Preservation. I don't ever get that much wear out of that tee because it fits a little bit long, and I'm a short-statured individual. If you think me saying this is me telling you that I'm going to sell that Ben Davis shirt, you are smoking pure opium. Now this one will probably get sold eventually because to be honest, this is like my least favorite Smashing Pumpkins tee, but it is a very valuable Smashing Pumpkins tee. Here it is, Smashing Pumpkins, of course, 1996 summer tour with garbage. You have some of the locations on the back. I believe this tee is valued right around $500, which if you do not follow the value of t-shirts, that might sound insane. But if you guys obviously heard when I was talking with Cam and he thought I got a good deal. Oh, what did you look at the back. What do you think I paid? Three. 300? Less. For most people who are buying and selling vintage, 300 is like a good deal for this shirt. And I got it for free. Do not be too cool to play the games or join in on the festivities at ThriftCon. But that being said, I finally won a whatnot game. And then another piece that I believe in the video I talked about auctioning, but I decided to keep once I got home and did some more research on it was the piece that I'm wearing right here. The good disgust. Gustave Dore. I'm not too familiar with this artist, honestly. Some of the Gustave Dore tees are extremely popular. I have not seen this particular one though. So when I saw it, I recognized the art style, but I wasn't super familiar with the artist himself. So I actually didn't know if this was that tee or if it was just like a similar art style tee, kind of similar to the Karen Perez, Keith Herring style tee. After doing some Google research, I realized it is a Gustave Dore and it's a pretty good one. It's the destruction of Leviathan if you are curious in the artwork. I pulled it to the booth, I asked the price, the homie said make an offer, and I always say this in the videos, if you tell me to make an offer, I'm gonna offer a dollar. Well anyways, in this particular instance, it worked out. I offered him a dollar and he said, yeah, fuck it, let's do a dollar, I don't care. Shout out to homie, I do appreciate it. If you're watching this, thank you so much, man. It was a pleasure meeting you. Obviously, I messaged you after the event 
uh, and let you know that I decided not to sell this piece. I know you mentioned in the video that you were curious to see what it goes for. I just want to keep it because it obviously has more sentimental value now that it's basically a gift. I mean, yeah, I paid for it and I don't know, maybe in the unforeseeable future, it will get sold way, way down the line. But as of now, like stuff like this, t-shirts like this in my collection mean so much more to me than a lot of other pieces that I feel like are somewhat comparable or as cool. So I would rather sell those pieces and keep pieces like this. But yeah, thank you if you were watching this. I appreciate the support more than you know. And that is towards every single person that has their corneas grilled to this ugly ass face on the screen right now. Anyways, we got a couple other pieces. Uh, I don't want to go over all the pieces that I got from the Sunday market, but I do want to touch on two. Of course, we have the Emerson Lake and Palmer T. I'm not a huge fan of this band, although they do make some good music. I mostly got this because of the HR Geiger artwork displayed on the front. This is another one that I might actually keep this is a skinny puppy an authentic skinny puppy too because if you smell it close enough you can smell the possible methamphetamines that were used by the previous wearer of this shirt super sick though nice fade nice like smoky black color i love the graphic on this one it seems like ever since i had that experience in vermont my boy robin hood where he gave me a jim morrison and then the next day we did a little buyout and i gave him a skinny puppy from that buyout it's just i don't know man like these shirts have been attracting themselves to me or something ever since that experience but yeah this one i might actually hold on to for a little bit but yeah that's everything and i think this actually might be the first weekend that i stay home Home. I have a bunch of stuff that I want to catch up on like there's just stacks of clothes everywhere in my apartment right now Even behind the camera. There's like six stacks of clothes Wait seven eight nine ten stacks of clothes So I will be doing a lot of selling on whatnot basically every single Thursday this week It'll be on Sunday right as this video goes live I'm gonna post a reel on Instagram kind of encapsulating the event So make sure you follow me on Instagram as well thrift row t-h-r-i-f-t-r-o-w Where you will see a little preview of most of the items that will be ran on Sunday also, if you see those three stacks back there, I'm currently talking to whatnot. This is not a for sure thing, but I'm considering selling half of my personal collection. Every single tee would start off at a dollar. Honestly, now that I'm looking at that stack, I almost want to try to set the record on whatnot, which would be insane because uh, my homies from the Rally Roots team definitely set the bar pretty high on that one. I think the record is like $60,000 in a single stream, which I have never even come close to. It might be in one stream. It might be in two streams. That being said, I did schedule the show just in case. I think there's currently like 500 bookmarks go to my whatnot profile assuming that you have whatnot downloaded if you don't of course like i said you can use that link in the description down below go to my shows and the very last show it should be titled something about my personal collection bookmark that show like i said it's not for sure but i can tell you a hundred percent it will not be ran ever if that show does not have well over a thousand bookmarks if i end up doing that i want to go hard and i want to really kill it so yeah we'll see what happens maybe i will maybe i won't but the possibility is there and you may see a lot of tees that you see me grab from my personal sold in that collection. I may even have to add some if we get close to beating the record. You guys made it this far, of course, comment. You were a slut, dog. But anyways, thank you guys. It's kind of weird because I don't have any plans to travel like this weekend, maybe even next weekend. I'm planning on just staying home for the next two weeks, which is bittersweet because I will say the one thing I enjoy about traveling more than anything is getting to meet you guys, like meet the homie that basically gave me this shirt for a dollar. I have so many people, man, that tell me stories about how these videos have impacted them. And I know I talk about it a lot and and I say thank you a lot. It's just crazy. The 30,000 views seem so insignificant until I hear someone tell their story of like how they got into it and how it's helped them in some way. Like that's just, it's mind blowing. So anyways, thank you guys. I appreciate it from the top and bottom of my heart. As always, keep living the star life. I cannot say thank you enough. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. You travel around in your matching electronically piss colored cars with matching suspensions and filson wrapped blankets you haven't been one of us for a long time jacob star <sighs> and i'm jealous and listen closely oh